So what does an intensive care doctor carry in their bag? Let's find out because I'm sure you're all dying to know. Okay, so the bag, it's an All Saints backpack, an everyday essential. I really like the design. It fits pretty much what I need. I actually can't remember how much it was. I tend to use it when I travel as well. The straps are sturdy and adjustable. It's lightweight, it looks cool. It doesn't have too many pockets. It has this one on the front where I can fit a few things and some space on the side for pens and this other pocket as well. I'm not sure what I can put in that. It fits my laptop if I need to bring it with me. I have the 2020 MacBook Pro 16 gig memory four Thunderbolt ports. I think it's one of the last ones that ran the Intel i5 chip. It runs really smooth. I do all my video editing on it as well. And I tend to use it when I'm traveling or going to a coffee shop to do some writing for my newsletter. Head to my website to sign up. It's free. Grateful for this laptop. It served me well, no complaints at all. Then I have my laptop charger as well. The next thing is my stethoscope. I've got the Lippmann Classic 3. I should probably get a case for it because it can get damaged if you're not too careful. And if I'm rushing to pack my bag with my lunch and things in the morning, I tend to just shove it in my bag. I've actually had this from the start of med school. It's been through a lot and still works like a champ. Where I'm working now in ICU, each patient has their own room and has their own stethoscope. So I'm not really using mine so much. Always a good idea to engrave them as well. Otherwise your consultant will ask to borrow yours and you might never get it back. I got my initials engraved along with this. Stay lit because it's Litman. Yeah? No? Next item. So we've got to stay hydrated folks. I've got this 750 ml steel shaker from Bulk. It keeps your drinks cool and it's leak proof as well. I use it for water and for my protein shakes and it's better than using the plastic ones but i still have a few of those at home anyway in the lid it has this built-in design that helps you mix your shakes i actually carry a small packet of protein powder with me as well also from bulk the macros are pretty nuts on this 20 grams of protein per scoop 172 calories per serving a couple of grams of carbs a friend of mine actually told me about this particular type of whey protein and i couldn't believe it it's the clear whey isolate tropical flavor highly recommend it i'll link it for you below Sticking to the nutrition theme, I've got this glass Tupperware box that I carry my lunch in. I usually meal prep on the weekends and then I have fresh food for the whole week. Hospital food is actually not bad. They do a salad bar thing, hot food too, and sandwiches, but I prefer home cooked food. It's healthier. Oh yeah, and this is a must. I have a couple of protein bars in my bag. These are a godsend when you're doing long shifts and working nights because the cafeteria shuts at 7 p.m. and all you have is vending machine snacks. You need to eat when you can, especially when you're on call because the shifts can be hectic and unpredictable. I had a set of nights recently and it can be quite tough on your body because you're eating at awkward times and you sometimes risk overeating. Also, when I don't have time for lunch, I can trust these to keep me fueled and ready. I like trying new protein bars, so if you recommend any, let me know in the comments. Yep, a can of tuna as well. Don't ask, but it's a good source of protein. Bit of mayo and a sprinkle of pepper and you're good to go. Can of Red Bull, always sugar-free. I don't drink energy drinks much these days, but doing a set of night shifts, you need one of these in your bag. I also carry this book in my bag. It's Meditations by Marcus Aurelius. He was a Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher. His writings are captured in this book and they offer insights into personal virtue, wisdom, and resilience. Despite his leadership responsibilities, he really prioritized self-improvement. A very admirable individual. I carry the book in my bag as a reminder for me to rely on my inner strength and clarity when I'm faced with tough situations. It's the Gregory Hayes translation, which I think is one of the better ones. I might do a separate video about this book. I'll link it in the description for you. Next thing is a can of deodorant. I've seen a few of these kind of videos on YouTube and not many seem to carry deodorant or mention it. Trust me, staying fresh is a must, especially in a hectic ICU environment. So yeah, don't forget boys and girls. This tends to be at the bottom of my bag. It's my gimbal, which I take with me when I'm heading to the gym or traveling to film content and vlogs and things. It's the DJI Osmo Mobile 6 costs around 140 pounds. Really handy bit of kit for filming. It lets you capture smooth footage with your phone camera whilst you're moving. And I have a tripod and a phone clamp as well. I have a couple of regular pens. It's always a good idea to carry a few because you'll get nurses and doctors asking you to borrow them. But the hospital I work in uses paper notes, so you have to write in black ink. Currently on ICU, it's a computer system, but you still write on handover lists and things. I also have a pen that has a torch on the end. This is actually really useful when you're doing neurological exams and checking if a patient's pupils are reactive to light. And in ICU, you have a lot of critically unwell patients, so a pen torch is a must. So the next thing is my ID badge. This is essential. You need this to get everywhere, including the staff only areas like the car park and things. And my car keys as well, can't go far without these. I've got my wallet as well. 
chewing gum, some Vaseline and some floss. I also keep a hand sanitizer bottle. There's lots of places for you to wash your hands and sanitize and things in the hospital, but I like to have one anyway for before lunch and when I'm leaving the hospital. I have hand lotion somewhere, but I can't find it. Next thing is my phone charger. This is really important because I rely on my phone a lot at work. If someone bleeps me, I need to be able to contact them back. And if I'm not near a hospital phone, there's an app I use that connects me to them. And there are some medical calculators on there as well. And if I need to check a dose of medication, then I can do that on the BNF app. I've got my AirPods, ideal for my lunch break. I tend to put on a podcast or YouTube video, so I need them. I take these with me wherever I go, really. Sunglasses, shock, I know we live in the UK, but you never know. Actually, when I'm coming off a night shift, I wear them as I'm leaving the hostel in the morning. I've got some painkillers as well. We've got some flavor drops from Bulk. I tend to add them to coffee sometimes to enhance the flavor. Then there's this portable charger. This one is 10,000 milliamp hours, so I can get a couple of charges out of this. Usually, if I'm on holiday, I tend to take one or two of these. And that's pretty much it. I hope you liked the video. I'll put the links to all the things in the description below. See you guys in the next one. Peace.